on Slightly Opinions. If you're new, my name's Tamara, and today we are going to be reviewing some commercials. As a blind person, my experience in the world is a little different than most, and I have got to tell you, about half the time, I have no idea what anyone's trying to sell me. At best, I might get an idea of what the brand is. So we're gonna have a little bit of fun. If you wanna play along, you can shut your eyes as we go through some of these commercials. Robbie's picked them out for me. I have no idea what they are. And we're gonna try and guess what these commercials are about with no vision. Without further ado, let's dive into number one. Okay. I hear bubbly liquids and some kind of really tropical sounding percussion. I... no idea. Let's keep going. Okay, it's happy, it's upbeat, it wants me to buy something for sure. I'm gonna go with something like Fanta Orange or some kind of pop brand. Something that has to do with soda in some way, because it was tropical sounding with the percussion, it had bubbly sounds, I heard liquids. That, that, that's about as close as I can get. How did I do, Robbie? There's a juice called Tamara juice. Tamara juice? There's a juice called Tamara juice? <laughs> Where's that from? I have no idea. <laughs> Where did you even find that? That's funny. I would never buy Tamara juice because I didn't know what it was trying to advertise. Is it a carbonated beverage or is it? They don't say. They don't, they don't say, so even you were confused. It's pro well, I presume it's a juice. It doesn't say carbonated soft drink or anything. It kind juice. of, it kind of, I heard bubbles, so I, I assumed it was carbonated. I would never consider buying a product like that because I wouldn't know that that product existed based on that commercial. Let's dive into commercial number two. Okay. Kid? I hear a kid. Is it vacuuming, maybe? Some soft guitar music. It's trying to make me feel warm and fuzzy things. Okay, my first guess is gonna be this is a commercial for a vacuum trying to tell you how awesome it is for your family because I hear small children and cleaning. I think it's cleaning. Yeah, it's got sad music. Okay, now I'm hearing electronic noises. <laughs> Getting very confusing. What is going on? Okay. <laughs> I have no idea. What is going on? It's trying to make me sentimental. I get that by the music. I hear what I think is a vacuum, but I was also hearing techie noises that kind of what I would associate with like a transformer. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. I'll make you see now. It's kind of noises that you'd hear almost in an animated short. A dog. Okay, this, this has something to do with family. Oh. I'm not sure how much of this I can show because this is somebody's audio uh, from a song. This is a very long commercial. <laughs> I don't know what this is about. I'm feeling like this was an animated Pixar short <laughs> or something in that style. Um, it's wanting me to feel warm and fuzzy things. Um, the only sound I have to kind of base this commercial on is I have no idea what the brand is. 
I have no idea what they're trying to sell me, but it was definitely trying to make me feel warm and fuzzy things. Um, I heard at one point, I think a child, some transformer noises, a vacuum, and a dog. Um, it's either, maybe it's trying to, it's like an SPCA shelter saying how awesome dogs are for your family, uh, or it's a commercial for something like a Roomba. That's, that's what I'm going with. What was it? The Lonely Vacuum LG Cord Zero, the cordless vacuum. <laughs> Hashtag cordless. I'm getting close. Again, I would have had no idea what they were trying to sell me. It really could have been anything. Honestly, that could have been a commercial for home insurance based on what was going on. Yeah. Aside from the constant vacuum noises, which is a little odd. I, I don't know if I would personally feel sentimental towards my vacuum cleaner, but hey, you know, that's, that's what it is, I guess. If you're playing along, are you able to get what any of these are? Or do you already know what these commercials are? Let's go on to the next one. Okay, I hear cars, I hear spraying. Okay. This kind of hip music. Um, it's got some kind of funky music. That's all that I'm hearing. There is no sound to this commercial. The sweet touch of love, okay. I definitely won't be able to play the sound on this commercial, so I'm gonna have it linked in the description down below so you can watch it yourself if you wanna play along. But this is definitely a licensed song, so I don't think I can put this up. I have absolutely no idea what that was about. I was playing a bunch of hip funky music. I'm assuming it had something to do with trying to market to millennials, trying to be down to earth based on the music selection, uh, trying to not be pretentious, but I could not tell you. I don't even have a guess for what that's about. Running shoes or life insurance or a sandwich? I, I, I honestly don't know. That's, I'm gonna go with those three. Actually, it was an Axe commercial about the most pretentious marketing thing for all millennials. Remember <laughs> Axe, everybody? Oh dear. Okay, yeah, I was nowhere near as close, but I was, I was close in that I guessed that it was for millennials. They were, they were trying to sell to a younger generation. That's an odd one. I, again, no idea. Had no idea what the brand was. Didn't know what they were trying to sell me. Wouldn't buy that product because the commercial doesn't work for me. Okay, let's try another. There's a certain kind of person who doesn't take no for an answer. Okay. They don't walk in quietly. It's trying to tell me what kind of person they I want to be. In. Okay, it's trying to give me some indication of I want to be this cool hip person who's got beat behind me. Uh, what I'm gonna get from their product, clearly. Trailblazing. Okay, we got funky beat. That's grazing greatness. Grazing greatness. Braving hatred. Never got a seat at the table, so they can't sit and behave. Uh, well, I never got a seat at the table. But this They'd commercial clearly is not uh, and designed for me because I don't know what you're selling me. There's a certain kind of person. They make it. I... Yeah. Okay. I don't know what that's about. Um, it's trying to tell me how awesome I'd be. It was telling me that I'm one of the chosen ones who doesn't follow the rules and doesn't know what they're supposed to be doing. Who would have a marketing campaign like that? Nike? Maybe Gatorade? I'm, I'm gonna go with something sports. I'm going with something sports. What was this commercial about? Behind the Mac. Greatness. <laughs> that was a commercial for Apple? Mm -hmm. That is not like their usual advertising campaigns. At least not the ones that I'm familiar with. I mean, maybe I'm old school because I'm used to the Mac PC thing, but... Yeah, man! It's safe to say that commercials are definitely designed for people that can see them. And 
advertisers tend to forget those of us that can't see what they're trying to sell us. And I think that's a real shame because there's a lot of products, there's a lot of things that I'd be interested in learning about or hearing about, and I'm not a hugely commercial person. I don't value lots of things, but I would like an equal opportunity to sit at the table and know what you're trying to sell me. If you have to sit through all of those ads and pre-rolls and things before movies and Twitch and YouTube, I'd like to know at least what they're trying to sell me, and I had not a clue. I can get a sense or an emotion, but I genuinely have to guess based on what the audio is. If I don't know what product you're trying to sell me, I'm never gonna buy it. So maybe that's a word for the wise for advertisers to change the way they advertise to make it more inclusive. Or if you are advertising, putting an audio description track as an option would really help me out so I know what you're trying to sell me because blind people love movies, blind people love to buy products, we have wallets too, so we're not an insignificant proportion of the market. There's over 256 million blind and low vision people worldwide. So that's a huge demographic that these advertisers are missing out on because they aren't catering to people with low vision. I'm genuinely curious, if you played along, how many did you get? Did you like this type of video? Do you wanna submit more videos and try and have me guess what they are? I thought this was so much fun. I'd be willing to do it again. If you want me to do another one, if we can hit 20 likes, I will do another one of these videos. You can submit to me your favorite commercials if you want me to guess what they're about. We can talk about all kinds of different things. I can give you my blind critiques. I think it's uh, something that's interesting, worth exploring. If you liked this, if you want me to do it again, I will. Just let me know by hitting that like button. If we hit 20 likes, I will do round two of this where I guess more commercials. If you wanna send me commercials that you want me to review, I'd be happy to do that. My email is listed in the description down below. We'll absolutely do this again. I had a ton of fun, but again, I was confused the entire time. So if you enjoy content like this, please don't forget to subscribe, hit those bells and buttons, leave me comments. Are you blind? Do you suffer from the same struggles as me? not knowing what you're being advertised, let me know. If you want to keep up to date with what's going on in between uploads, I have an accessible Twitch stream Tuesdays and Sunday nights, 7.30 Mountain Standard Time. We play whatever games you want us to play. And if you want to check out my other social media accounts, they are linked in the description down below. But that's all for today. Bye for now.